wondering why your mobile data is so slow. There's nothing more annoying than a slow data connection on your phone. Whether you're trying to watch a video on YouTube or check Facebook on your phone, you pay for and assume a high-speed connection. When service fails to meet that level, it's easy to get upset. Commonly, a slow connection is just temporary, caused by location or network congestion. Other times, it can persist for hours or even days. Before you call your mobile carrier's customer service. Try these simple steps first to see if they fix your slow mobile data. Don't forget Do to like, share, comment and subscribe Do now to this channel. Do 1. Restart your phone. This seems like a cliche fix, but it often works. Restarting your phone should fix sluggish mobile data speeds, especially if you haven't turned it off in a while. 2. Change locations. Many factors can result in slow LTE service. These include weather, network congestion, and even solar activity. But chief among these are geography and buildings. If you're in a remote area, or there are a lot of natural barriers around you, such as hills, mountains, and valleys, they can affect your signal. The same goes for buildings. You could be in the middle of a heavily populated urban area with full bars, then wonder why your data is so slow when you enter certain structures. If you're having speed problems that might have started in a certain location, try moving somewhere else. You may need to leave the building you're in or drive a few miles away. While this may not be convenient, it's a good way to troubleshoot your speed issue. This step is likely something tech support will ask you to do anyway if you call for help. 3. Update and disable apps. Sometimes a troublesome app can cause issues by hogging your data connection and slowing it down. In such a case, you'll want to do a little investigating to see what, if anything, is eating into your speed. If it turns out there is something amiss, you can disable the app's access to your cellular data connection or uninstall it. On Android, you'll find this at Settings Network and Internet Mobile Network App Data Usage. Tap an app, then slide the background data slider off to prevent that app from using data in the background. You should also check for app updates. App developers publish updates to address bugs all the time, so it could be a simple matter of opening the App Store or Google Play and downloading the fix through an update. Or disable data saver slash low data mode. Both Android and iOS contain modes designed to reduce your data usage. These are handy if you have a limited amount of data, but can also make it seem like your service connection is slow. Try disabling these modes and see if everything feels faster. On Android, head to settings network and internet data saver. If you have an iPhone, you'll find a comparable setting called low data mode under settings cellular cellular data options. If you're worried about how much data you use, make sure you turn these back on after a bit. You should be able to tell if this setting is making your mobile data slower or not. 5. Disconnect from your VPN. VPNs provide anonymity and privacy, but they can also slow down your speeds when using remote servers. Thus, if your phone is connected to a VPN, try disconnecting and try again. Chances are, you'll notice an immediate improvement as soon as you disconnect. If that does fix the problem, you can improve your VPN's speed when you reconnect to it. 6. Reset your phone's network settings. Resetting your network settings, like restarting your phone, often fixes a slow mobile data connection. The problem is that doing so also resets your Wi-Fi access points and Bluetooth devices. This isn't the end of the world, but you will have to reconnect to saved Wi-Fi networks and repair your Bluetooth devices later. To reset network settings on an iPhone, open Settings General Reset Reset Network Settings. The phone will prompt you for your passcode if you have one, then it will restart. On an Android phone, You'll find the Reset Network Settings option at Settings System Advanced Reset Options Reset Wi-Fi, Mobile and Bluetooth. This may be in a different location depending on your phone manufacturer. Try searching for it in the Settings search bar if you can't find it. 
Resetting the network settings on an Android phone usually does not require you to restart the device. 7. Pull and insert your SIM card again. Finally, you can try to pull and reinsert your SIM card. This can clear up any underlying issues affecting your phone's connection to your carrier. Where your SIM card is located varies from device to device. When pulling your SIM card, you should ideally power the phone off first. It's not a huge deal, but will prevent any potential damage. If pulling the SIM card doesn't work, you can try replacing it. Keep in mind that if you have an older phone, you may not be able to access the fastest mobile data standards. 8. When all else fails, call customer service. Remember, you probably have a mobile data cap ranging from a few to several dozen gigabytes. If you go over that cap, your mobile carrier will usually slow your connection, in lieu of expensive overages. Even those on so-called unlimited plans may experience throttling or deprioritization during times of network congestion after they hit a certain limit. What? Keep this in mind when you experience slow fuck? service. If you've used up your allotment, you may have to wait until your bill cycle resets or purchase additional high-speed data. If none of these steps fix your slow data, then it's time to call tech customer service. The technician may have you repeat some of these steps. You might be inclined to refuse because you are already done them, but it's the representative's job to go through a list of troubleshooting steps to see what works and what doesn't. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. If it does, the issue could something on your provider's end that you can't fix. Thanks for watching, if you find this video informative comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe now to this channel, it really mean a lot to me. Thank you guys for your support and I love you all. See you on our next weekly tips video.